In this tutorial video training series, we're going to cover how to make a fillable form that starts in Word and ends in Adobe Acrobat. We're also going to go over how to make that form accessible. In this first video, we're going to look at how to design a form in Word. Um, and it's just going to be a general overview because I assume that if you're watching this series, you know how to make basic shapes and use text boxes, etc. So I'm just using this fifth grade annual field trips form because it's a very simple form and it's something everybody um, is familiar, familiar with in some way. So I created this form that is exclusively made with text boxes. As you can see here, the only thing that is not in this text box is this heading right here, which is a heading one. I styled this heading to look the way I wanted it to look, but it is in fact a heading one, which is necessary for accessibility. As we come down here, each of my questions are in a text box. They don't have any borders or any fill color. I just kept it simple with easy to read font and I recommend that for any form that you are creating. In addition to the basic text boxes, I also added shapes where I want to have the fillable text. Now this in particular is a shape that has a gray thick border and a white fill color. It is not an empty fill color. I don't know if that is important in this process, but I always leave a white fill color because I just assume that it helps the Acrobat reader when it converts this to a form see that this is a shape that it needs to make a field. So you could also, instead of doing a box, you could also do just a line underneath. So I have this line down here that I have for the signature, um, but I just chose to have boxes. That is totally up to you. So for each of these, they are sized so that they align well because that helps people to read a form. And then as you can see, I have all of these check boxes. And these are, anytime you have a check box, there are two ways that it can work out. This multi-select check box means that they can select one, they can select a few, or they can select all of them, or they don't have to select any of them if they don't want to. So anytime you want people to be able to select zero or multiple, you're going to want to choose to use a checkbox. Checkboxes are also used for something where it's like I acknowledge my right to, etc., or I accept the terms and conditions, etc. So those are what we're going to go over in the checkbox tutorial video. The other type of field that's pretty basic is a radio button, and a radio button should only be used when you have multiple options, but they can only select one. So yes, no, maybe gender, maybe um, if you had a question where you said, what is your income range? They can only pick one range. And so when you have that, you should usually use a radio button. Actually, the income range would be good as a drop down menu as well, because you can only select one option from that as well. But if it's usually a yes, no, or maybe two or three different answers, it's good to have radio buttons. This one is where they're going to choose their favorite field trip choice. And so this would be good as a drop down. So I'm trying to get all the different basic types of fields in here so that we can work on them in the training video um, or in the training video series. This parent signature, I just did a basic line because that's where I'm going to want them to print it out and actually sign it. We will also go over in a tutorial video the different signing options that Adobe offers. They're a little bit convoluted, so I just kept it simple for this. So when you're creating your form in Microsoft Word, you're going to do something like this. Design it, lay it all out, make it look as good as you possibly can, and make sure that you have lots of space between questions and make sure that you have the shapes or lines that indicate the type of questions that you're going to be asking because that makes it easier for Adobe Acrobat to decide what types of fields to put in there.